So many of you guys joined this community because of the Yamaha Vino. I don't usually take it out on the road with me, but today, because of you, that's right, because of you, we're going to go out for a trip. Okay. So I don't want to talk about the problems. I want to talk about the possibilities with the Yamaha Vinova. I was doing some research recently and I found out that the saxophones were made in the 1840s. And over the years, there's been this progression from the types of saxophones that um, were initially invented. Um, I think it's, yeah, the by saxophone? What's his name again? I don't remember. But this, I think it's Adolf Saxophone. That's his name. I think so. Um, but the types of saxophone that he invented, there were a few and... I see this as an evolution into the lives of saxophones. I brought my case here with me, small handy case. And I haven't been able to use it as much for gigs because it's just in a C, a C instrument really. But I'm gonna try it out today just to see if we can get some more functionality and actually to get some material for this kind of video. So um, like this video and yes, leave a comment. The comment is the most important thing because I want to know what you're thinking. That way I can know if I'm making the right videos or if I should make something different. And thank you for those who talked about the Aerophone video and a the AE20, what I talked about when I said it wasn't ready. I didn't like it that much. Yeah, I got some feedback and you guys were like, hey, you never tested it. How can you say you don't like it? And it makes sense, true, true words. So um, yeah, so let's see if we can get our hands on that very soon, hopefully. Well, who knows? But let's take a ride. <laughs> everybody and we are back in the studio and yeah so that didn't go exactly as planned actually ex it went exactly the way I thought it was gonna go so let me explain something to you I didn't want to start this video on this tone but I have a problem with the Vinova um, the Soprano Vinova the V YVS 100 now I haven't tried the tenor or the or the autos yet so I can't say it has the same issue my issue is that I really don't I really am not able to play this thing chromatically in a real life setting, in a real life gig setting kind of thing. And yeah, I, I know I made the whole video about the chromatics and I have, actually have a course on Skillshare about the chromatics of the Vinova. And by the way, you should check out that course on Skillshare. It talks about the chromatics of the Vinova YVS 100 on there. But I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit challenging to play this chromatically. This instrument is much easier to play on C or G. So let me play it on G first, so you can see. This is C, D, E, F, G, concert G. So those are the easiest two keys to play in. So I can play something on key G. So that's all good and fair. So I think it might have to do with two things. I think the engineering for the parts has not was not yet perfected here. And I cannot say has not yet been perfected here because I need to try out the newer Vinovas for me to have my complete opinion here. My guess is that this is already a fixed issue. This thing has already been fixed in the Alto and the Tenor Vinovas. But this one, maybe it's just too small that the intonation of those chromatic notes is not as precise. And I mean, you can date this back to like the old generation saxophones. Like I told you about out of saxophone and how he did his um, thing at the beginning and then the saxophones created, you know, are not really in tune, but some people could play some marvelous pieces like that. I think this is like that too, because I think that some people can create some wonderful pieces with this guy it just takes a amount of work. I think that's the second thing. It takes some more practice, which I haven't given it as much of as I should. So, yeah. So, can this thing play chromatically? The answer is yes. Is it easy to play chromatically? The answer is no. So, yeah. I'm going to do some more working around with it. Hopefully, we can get some stuff done. <laughs> 